This bike I'm seeing in front of me is not the same bike that st stood in front of me a few months ago. Well, one thing I can say is, you said it, this is not the same bike that stood in front of you two years ago or two months ago. No. The first heart transplant in the world was done in South Africa by Dr. Chris Barnard many, many years ago. Yes. We did a complete transplant. What you're looking at here is a complete engine designed, manufactured and built by us. Yeah. Basically with partners. We'll talk a little bit about the partners, but this is a complete engine transplant. This is not taking some other engine and putting it in some other frame. This yes. is designing and building a complete engine from the ground up. The crank is homemade. We designed it. The casings are our design, the barrel is our design, the head is our design, everything in the engine, the exhaust pipe. Look at how exquisite that baby is. That is beautiful, that I must say. That is beautiful, man. That's the biggest, meanest, fattest boa constrictor that you can imagine. I just want to get a closer look of this yeah. bike. This engine, that's the masterpiece. The piece de resistance. The piece de resistance. We love it. And it's beautiful, guys. It's really... Thank you. Really, it's it's one of those things. When you look at it, it's a piece of art. We love it. We really love it. I mean, um, come on, Rimpish, you yes. say something. <laughs> no, it was a lot of hard work, a lot of effort. We've got a lot of team uh, team members and a lot of uh, excellent guys. Yes. Um, so it was a few few late nights. Um, we had a few problems, like normal. We're very happy. There's still some things we need to iron out, but um, yeah, it's in and it's running, and yeah, so it's great. I ran it in today on the plot plot roads here. There's a lot of dirt roads here because Rimpis is a very careful kind of guy, you know. Okay. So um, he could not get it over his heart to rev it over 2000 RPM. So the poor thing was bogging down with oil all over the inside of the engine. And I, and I asked him, have you got clothes for me? So I put his uh, lighting gear on yeah. and I took it out there and I was winding it up and down the road here. Flat taps in six gear. It's beautiful. Man. It is inch perfect uh, like he said i hate saying that on a tv program we've got some small jetting issues because this is the yes. stage one jetting i, I, just, I uh, done that on purpose because i knew my uh, yeah my <laughs> he kept it rich so <laughs> i couldn't rich. seize the thing <laughs> but i've been racing two strokes for a very long time yeah. road racing so uh, i know a couple of things about running a bike in and one of them is you mustn't baby the thing you must you must whack it so yeah. that you get compression on the rings so that the ring seat properly we had a good look up the exhaust pipe we took the exhaust off it's looking great inside it's sounding really cool it's actually more than i had bargained for I, okay. I was so i was so gobsmacked when we started it the first time i was actually i think i was quiet because i did not expect it and i think i think chris was a little bit i could see these taking some strain <laughs> it was quiet not the normal chris <laughs> And I, and I need to ask you, it, you know, this is a completely new engine and I, I can't imagine it was just put it together and there you go. It's not no. like... Um, no, fortunately uh, I had some time on hands uh, the, the last week and a half or so uh, once we started really putting the thing together. Yes. I could spend time with Rimpis. Yeah. And um, because of my previous history building armored cars and, and racing motorbikes and racing 4x4s, I'm very capable to work with my hands. So yes. the angle grinder and the die grinder, that was me. Um, <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> there was enough of it, but it happened fast. Yes. And uh, we got it done. In, in actual fact, you know, there's one particular picture, Jock, that I want you to use. and. It shows the complexity of what we're dealing with. Yes, okay. everybody can put a motorcycle engine together. Yes, yeah. a four-stroke engine is more complex than what we're dealing with here. But to imagine that Rimpis designed this from from nothing, clean mm. sheet. Yes. Um, and I must just say, it's, just not, it's not just me. We've got, we've got a lot of partners. Yeah, it's, it's yeah <laughs> it was... Um, okay, so we have partners. And, and I'm, and I'm yeah. chewing his ear every now and then, looking at the CAD design, etc., etc. But... In the, principle, the inspiration came from from Rimpis' uh, yeah. dream. Rimpis was the driver. Yes, um, it was his dream. It is his dream. Yeah. When you hang around with me long enough, you'll you'll come to know that. Be careful what you dream of. We all know that. I might just make it 
Absolutely. a reality and the roof is lying ahead of us yes. just more than a month from now we only started it three days ago the roof is a month from now with all this bike building that we've done that he's done bike designing and bike building yes he hasn't had a lot of time to spend on any bike that's so what he's I, not yeah. fit. The roof is going to kill yeah, you. Yeah, but you don't need to be fit if you've got this. Yeah, one. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last word. Talk is cheap. Money buys the whiskey, bro. Yeah. But so yeah. So please tell us a little bit about the the challenges and the assembly and the this and the that. Yeah. So um, basically, we did the design and we we got our partners that help us with the manufacturing. Yes. Um, the major prob not problems, but the issues that we do have is um, time was a problem. And then the guys that helped us, they did Money a lot of, is always <laughs> a problem. <laughs> they did a lot of work for free, so we're very thankful for that. Yes. And then, yeah, there was the, some design, small design problems. I think the biggest uh, headache for us on our side is uh, the starter motor, mm. fitting it in because it's yes. right at the bottom, so it is interfering with the frame, and we okay. had some, some issues there. The barrel turned out well, the, car, the, the machine casings turned out well. We were very fortunate that we didn't have any major leakage problems. Things that we still need to do is we've got a, a servo drive for the power valve system. That's not 100% uh, working functional at this stage. Okay. Um, so we will but once on again, we've got a yeah. great partner there in Nico. Yes. You get it sorted. Yeah, yes. definitely. There's no problem okay. there. The, the riding that we both did today was with the power valve fully closed. So what does that mean? It Just means this, the, the whack is not at the top, yeah. the whack is at the bottom. Oh, okay, and yeah. that's, that's how it's going to be written in the roof, I can imagine? Or in in the roof it'll be fine. Is it? Uh, it's in, fine. For the roof it'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, if all else fails, we'll yeah. just ride it like, well, you'll yeah. ride it like this. Oh. It's yeah. fine because it's, it's very good for my riding style. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he goes, purr, purr, purr. actually he doesn't, he's fast, but um, it's got a whack of torque down below. You open that throttle in any gear and, and there's just stuff coming out the back. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. And um, uh, yeah, so and the, the, the guys that help us with the five gert, uh, the one gert designed it for us, the other gert did the fabrication for us. Um, yeah. we've, got, we've got guys that did the machining, guys that did the sealing on the barrel. We've got the people that helped us with the coatings and the painting and the, um, we've got a team um, Monique and and, her, and and Bulmary did the sticker design, yes. did the printing. We've got a whole bunch of people. Then we've well, got, the the, the yeah. major the major ones are obviously THC who put the money up yeah. up front. LNM Engineering who did the casing uh, bullet machining for us. Yes. TNC Technologies who did the crankshaft manufacturing for us. If there was one thing that had me in sleepless nights, it was that crankshaft and the actual size of the of the pin in the, in the crank half mm. where the press must go in so i put the crank together and i want to tell you something kudos to rimpis and uh, pit van sale who did uh, the gear design and between the two of them they sorted out the, the tolerance that we need on that mm. and it went in a treat and um, the, the major concern from our side it was of oh, definitely the barrel i think cost go down and down in cape town did an amazing yeah. job doing a prototype barrel for us using a, a, a rapid cast method yeah we've got the guys that did the nikasil nfc they did an amazing job that's that's awesome guys it's really and again i want to applaud you for the for the looks and uh, i haven't heard it start yet or see it perform but if you just look at it you can see it's it's ready for business and ready, that's, to, ready to go places and that's awesome i well, think well i think um
Well done, three piece! Man, oh man, what a beauty. King of beauty is a joy forever. <laughs> this is a joy forever. Uh, so yeah. the next video will be out after the roof of Africa, expected uh, beginning mid-December. Here's hoping that we have a good roof. Yes, 100% thanks. I wish you all the best luck and uh, I can't wait for that. Yes. <laughs> okay. See you at the roof, Jock. Cheers. <laughs>